So this app has literally changed my life and you need to get it. Check this out. Hey there, welcome to my channel. I am Uletu Gwenama. In this video, I'll be giving you five essential apps that you certainly need if you're working in the medical field, especially if you're a medical student. These apps help you study better, they help improve your clinical skills, and also learn about drugs, dosages, side effects, etc. If you are interested to elevate your life and have this amazing experience with these apps, stay freaking tuned. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my space that I get to share with you. I am Willetu Gwenama and I'm excited to be here. If you are a returning subscriber, you are much appreciated. Thank you for being here. And if this is your first time, welcome to this amazing space where we get to learn and grow together. Make sure that you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. So we're talking about five essential apps. Let's get straight Right. So first up, YouTube. YouTube is the holy grail of any medical student. If you don't have this app, well you're here now. So might as well just download it, right? Or use it on your desktop. YouTube has really helped me. I've used it for my first year in medical school and I'm still using it till this day. We get lectures in university, right? And we get tutorials and a lot of other learning experiences and materials. But just because someone is a great doctor or performed the first what what or is great and brilliant in their field and does this amazingly, does not mean that they are a good teacher. So you need someone who's able to break down this huge and complicated concept into a simplified form that is easy to understand. And that is exactly what YouTube has been for me. So there are many, many accounts that I follow and I have a few, I think about five that I use on the daily. Those are just my go-to. First one is Khan Academy. Khan Academy is good. They explain it's different doctors that are working together to present all these lectures. Um, it's written against the back, a black background. Um, check it out right here. So this is Khan Academy. Follow their account. They have a lot of different topics and they just make you understand things a lot better. Second up, we have osmosis. Osmosis is everyone's go-to. You realize that if you type in a topic on YouTube, let's say you say neonatal jaundice the next word that is automatically brought up is osmosis because a lot of people use it so whatever you type up and then you say osmosis an osmosis video regarding that topic pops up osmosis is very good they have videos from ranging from 5 to 10 max 15 minutes very short succinct but give you all the details you need about whatever disease whatever treatment you're studying about actually a friend shout out to you gave me this amazing idea that if you're using osmosis use it to help aid your studying right so this is obviously not everything you'll need to cover and you will need to read some text before you go deep into that text watch an osmosis video or whatever topic you're covering right so you learn about it in that seven minutes they give you a brief summary and structure of you know whatever disease it is the causes the symptoms treatment management diagnostics side effects prognosis etc and then after you have an idea of that so now you watch this video you know what it's about then you go deep into your text so it makes the studying much easier you already have an idea of what you're getting yourself into what this disease is about so osmosis armando arsenida i love armando he gives handwritten tutorials so if you like if you like arty things sketched up things armando is your person makes sense he really really makes sense in my head like he'll give you the anatomy first of whatever you're studying so that you understand the anatomy he gives you the physiology and then goes into the pathology so you can't really study what's wrong if you don't know what normal is you know so he gives you exactly that which is what you need in order for things to make sense i like him i like him a lot check him out and then Paul Bolin. Paul Bolin I started listening to during my psychiatry rotation. He really helped me. He has really good um, case-based materials on psychiatry, also updated with the DSM-5. He covers other rotations as well. I've used them a bit in pediatrics, but psychiatry really just he blew my mind. Everything that was in my textbook was in his stuff and covered well. 
All right, so there's also SlideShare and Medscape. So I'm going to put these under one app because they give me sort of like a similar um, outcome and I just, like I just use them concurrently. So right now we're doing a lot of online lectures and online tutorials. And I use these apps to supplement my online learning. So let's say I know that today we're covering, um, give me a topic, <laughs> asthma. All right, so I know that we'll be talking about asthma, so I'll go in Medscape and all SlideShare. Let me just show you on the screen. Yes, um, I go there and I just type in slides on asthma. I search asthma, and then it pops up. So a lot of different slide options come up, and then bronchi bronchial asthma. No, let's go childhood asthma. Yeah, so the layout will be very similar to how we approach our online lectures and how you know they go through it. What are the what's the presentation, clinical features, how do you diagnose it, how do you treat it? So I go along with these slides as well. So I'm getting the information that I'm receiving from whatever we're learning online. And I also have my slides open and I'm learning what they're saying. And if I have any questions or if there's things that don't match up between what I'm learning in my online lecture and what I'm seeing on my slides, I can ask. And yeah, so it just helps me supplement that. And there's also obviously Medscape. So a lot of people use it internationally actually. It's continuously updated. It's nice, short, succinct. Uh, topics and information that you can also use. So get those too. Amboss. Amboss is the next app that we need to talk about. The next app that you need to download. The next app that you need to use right now. Amboss I started using about over a month ago and I'm sad that it really took me this long to actually use it because it's great. Amboss, look at it here. So you get to research a topic. We're talking now about neonatal jaundice, right? So you type in neonatal jaundice. So a lot of things pop up related to that topic. So I click specifically on neonatal jaundice and it has amazing headings. So the headings from, you know, what it is, the summary, pathology, clinical symptoms, diagnostics, investigations, treatment, outcomes, prognosis, complications it's amazing so if you go into each folder you can even find you like more information about it they have a lot of tables they have a lot of pictures check this picture yes and sometimes they even link videos uh, one of the videos links that I've seen is from osmosis which I spoke about now to the YouTube so um, be mindful of osmosis because it's really great we even used in other apps so it's re it really is amazing. I use it when I study. So when I'm studying, let's say I have a certain YouTube video open, Paul Bolin, I listen to that. I have my Amboss app open and then I have probably a textbook of some sort. So when I'm making my notes and going through the work, I study, okay, the pathophysiology. So I, ch I check the YouTube video for the pathophysiology. I check Amboss and then I check my textbook. And then, you know, I have a clear picture from three different sources and it's really such a great source to have it it has information that you need man stuff you need to know and what helps is that let's say you don't know what um hyperbilirubinemia is you go in the app and then you just click exactly on that line hyperbilirubinemia okay then it tells you this is what it is like a lot of the words in the app are underlined just in case you forget what it is okay inalipil what is inalipil again how does it act what does it do it's amazing i appreciate it it's whoever came up with it oh actually it's doctors who, who are contributing to the material of the app doctors doing this for future doctors so let's get equipped and really use it to our advantage this is what technology is for right so you can also track your progress on amboss you can do quizzes after each section you can um, look at how well you did and then at the end you can see which topics do I still need to cover again that I didn't do so well in the quizzes in then you know you know where your weak points are or rather where you need to strengthen your knowledge on so Amboss is your baby and then there's up to date up to date is used internationally I know a lot of people across the world are loving up to date um, there's a subscription fee you have to sign up for it but most inst institutions already have accounts with up to date so you just need to log on to up to date using the Wi-Fi system of your university 
Unfortunately, I didn't do that last year while I was still on campus, so I don't have full access to it. But even if you don't have a license, you can still access the app, but you just don't, won't get the full article or the full information. I like the layout of up to date and some topics that I feel like the notes that are provided by the university aren't adequate or aren't layered nicely or just don't make like sense for me. I go into up to date and I read up on it like that. So you know those modules that you know aren't so good at admin or compiling stuff in a good way. Then you can definitely use up to date you use it on the go so you get a lot of downtime as well if you're in hospital depending on which year you're in which rotation you're in so in that downtime you can just go and up to date and study whatever rotation you're on cover that information so it's really a useful app to have especially for the downtown like I think we need to make use of that downtime a lot more you know when you're waiting for a tat to start or the ward work is done but you still have second ward rounds coming up and you're just waiting around and you can't exactly go home then definitely go and up to date and just read up maybe on the cases you already have what you have in your ward something that you're unsure about up to date is the one can we take a moment and talk about em guidance i put em guidance together with eml because these apps are your drug friends so once you go into the clinical environment, you would definitely need this. Once you go into was your final years of medical school, of you know, any health sciences, you definitely need to know drugs. You're expected to know what drugs are you going to actually use for this patient, for this disease, what are the side effects, what are the mechanism of action, drug drug interactions. These are the apps for you. So you can open EM guidance, open the app, type in let's say hydrochlorothiazide so you type in hydrochlorothiazide pops up and then you click on one of the options and then you read on it so it also has your trade names and different names that people call drugs can we stop calling hydrochlorothiazide rydac it is not rydac it is hydrochlorothiazide sorry about that i just hate trade names can we use generic names please and thank you good people thank you right so once you have the drug open you can go into all the information about the drug what are the indications of the drug what are the side effects the medication the, and this is how it works you can go into the drugs find out what the indications of the drug are what are the side effects what are the dosages what are the adult dosages what are the pediatric dosages so you obviously won't be using the same doses for adults and for children you find all uh, find out all about that you find out about your drug drug interactions this app is really useful and you know why we need to give it credit you know eml and em guidance because then you won't need to carry this baby so you won't be you won't be needing to carry your samp so samp is the south african medicines formulary a book that we've been using um it it has different editions this one is currently the ninth edition and um it's heavy like it's heavy and already in hospital you're carrying a lot of things and you just don't want to add to that baggage so if you have something already available on your phone that gives you the same information that's in this book then why not use it so why not download em guidance so you better download em guidance because it helps right so it's really just made a difference for me sometimes i'm expected to write up drugs in hospital i write them up and then the doctor signs and it really just helps you remember and you ask you just remember because i've been writing up this drug so many times i obviously remember it i remember the dosage and what dosages we use for for each patient because i obviously a lot of things are patient specific so definitely check that out check that out then you don't have to carry books in your bag and make it heavy if you're interested in finding out what's in my medical school bag Check out this video up here and um, just realize that I don't like a lot of baggage so I try to use technology to my advantage. Links that you need, I have two, let me know if there's more. You need NHLS, so I keep NHLS on my home page. NHLS is the National Health Laboratory Services. Yeah, um, so you need to take bloods all the, you need to check bloods all the time. So we take a lot of bloods and patients, obviously with indications. We take bloods to do whatever tests that we need to do and you need to check the results every single day and you need this readily available and on the spot, on the go. So I just literally click on the link, I log in, I have the login details saved already on my Chrome and I just use the link, check the bloods quick quick. And Google, Google, you need Google all the time. I mean, I know you know this, but I'm telling you anyway, you need Google. Let's say there's a term that you don't understand and 
you don't know what they're talking about during a ward run and you just want to google something quickly let's say they're talking about a patient scan and they're like there's an acoustic shadow here what's an acoustic shadow again and also sometimes you're shy to ask things so you can just google it quickly but also let's just build confidence and say it with our chests but yeah google you need either way so essentially what i'm telling you in this video is to use technology to your advantage make it work for you don't be a slave to it let it do the work for you and make your life 10 times easier so the aim is just to make your studying and learning experience a lot easier it's, it's really helping me and i'm trying so hard to use these apps to my advantage and make them work for me so we've come to the end of this video Yes, we have come to the end. I hope you enjoyed this, I hope this helped you. And I do hope that you are going to get these apps. I have included them in the description down below if you're interested in downloading them, elevating your life, then definitely get them. And let me know if you're actually using any of these apps that I spoke about now and how they have improved your life. Which one are you actually going to download from the series that I just told you about now? cool loves i hope you enjoyed this as much as i did making it if you haven't subscribed please give this video a big thumbs up and hit the red button down below until next time from me to you it is